KG5 EIU. Today I'm going to show you how to new use the new uh, built-in tools uh, inside of Windows in the latest release, SSH Secure Cell, to get into your hotspots that are on your network or maybe at a remote repeater site. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you'll do is go to your Windows Start menu and uh, open a command line. And you can know right away if SSH is out there. If you had the latest release of Windows, just by typing SSH, of course, there's all the command. There's all the uh, commands you could use to access. So we're going to access a uh, hotspot here I have on my network, and I'm going to use the uh, syntax of SSH, the username, PyStar for uh, PyStar is the default username on all your hotspots. It's the same username and password you'd use to access the web page uh, in the admin mode. And uh, I have one out there called Megastar. And what you'll see is a uh, when you initially run this, you're going to get a question about uh, authenticity. And you'll want to say yes to this, assuming that it's uh, genuine and you agree to it. And when you do that, you'll be then prompted for a password. And after that, you are in uh, securely uh, SSH'd into your hotspot that are, that's on your network, or perhaps it's uh, across the network at a remote repeater site. Either way, you're securely uh, now in the command line of your, of your hotspot. We'll go ahead and exit out of this. And we're back to back to Windows. Now, what you'll find uh, in your Windows home directory is a hidden directory called .ssh. You can see it right here, uh, right there. And if you were to look in that directory, you'll see a file on here called known hosts. That file contains a list of hosts and their associated IP address and that fingerprint for security reasons. Later on, if the host name or the IP address or anything changes about that and you try to SSH back into it, it's going to give you an error and say, authenticity, it's changed, something's wrong with it. That's not a problem. All you have to do is go in here and delete these known hosts. And now you'll be able to SSH into them again. I'm showing you this because if the IP address of your hotspot ever changes, maybe you have it set up for DHCP like I do, um, you'll get an error if the IP address for some reason changes down the road. Uh, but it's an easy fix. Delete the known host in the .ssh directory and you'll be uh, back in business. So there you go. Uh, the new SSH command built into Windows uh, that's available. You don't need to load a third party application like PuTTY or any of the other terminal programs uh, to access it. It's built now right into Windows uh, SSH. It's just that easy with a new uh, command uh, inside of Windows SSH. Give it a try. 7.3 from KG5 EIU.